guys, this is a Savage here, Brian here, and today I'll be doing another Nintendo 3 video. Today I'll be doing a video about Mario, about if he is human, because I've been playing Super Mario Odyssey and I beat it today. And so, so I wanted to make a theory about it, and I got this theory because of playing Super Mario Odyssey. And first of all, let's go look at the Metro. Kingdom. That's Pauline, who was originally featured in Donkey Kong, where she gets kidnapped by Donkey Kong, and Mario has to rescue her. And then there's humans in New Donk City and stuff. But the real question is, who is actually human, Mario or the people of New Donk City, which I'll be discussing later. And also, you can possess a, a person in New Donk City who looks similar to Donald Trump. But one of the weirder things is that New Donk City has no children, which I will be discussing about in another Nintendo Theory video. So let's compare the two. So, Mario and... A citizen for New Donk City. So Mario is 5.1 feet, which has been confirmed by Nintendo. So if we were to add and stack two Marios on top of each other, that would make the person for New Donk City about like 10 feet tall, which is really weird and stuff, and makes um the people for New Donk City look like giants, which I've explained in my other Theory video before the game was released and stuff. It wasn't the best theory video, but you can go check it out and stuff. So, and also another thing is that when you go to um the Moon Kingdom, there is a person for New Donk City that wears a space helmet when he is there, and you can find him after you kill Bowser and stuff. And apparently, people from New Donk City need oxygen, but Mario in the Moon Kingdom does not need any oxygen. He literally can go around in his boxers in the game without any air supply, which I find really weird that Mario does not need oxygen on the moon, but people from New Donk City do, which makes me believe that Mario is not human. Another thing is, when Mario jumps off buildings, when Mario jumps off buildings, he can be like a hundred feet um high up, and he can just ground pound there. And this is all Mario will do. He'll just be scared, and he'll be bending his freaking legs. No damage whatsoever. When he freaking jumps off skyscraper, like how is this possible? Another reason why Mario is definitely not human and that the people of New Donk City are actually human is because of this. And another reason that proves that Mario is not human is because in an interview with Shigeru Miyamoto, he said that Mario, the mascot of Nintendo, is only 24 years old. Freaking, and Mario has facial hair and a thick mustache, and he's fat, and he's freaking 24 years old. I don't know if um, a secret of my mojo um, can be a, a source for a Mario stuff since in a video called Mario Myths with Mr. Miyamoto, he freaking said this that he was. Bowser Jr.'s mother, and that is Bowser's wife, which is freaking gay. And so, so I don't know if he's a trustworthy source because of this, even though he created so, um, Mario himself. So, I'm just going to go with he's 24 years old, but you should check out that video uh, um, of him being on the Mario Myth. And stuff, and him answering crazy questions like that. Uh, like, look at this. Mario looks nowhere near the age of 24. I thought he was in his 30s. Freaking, he has a 
a mustache already, and he literally does not look anywhere near 24. And so, making him look even more like he's not human, if he's 24 and is already having facial hair like that. And another reason why he isn't human at all is because that he can get oxygen when swimming towards bubbles. Super Mario Odyssey and some other Mario games, Mario doesn't have infinite oxygen, of course, but he needs to swim to bubbles to get oxygen, but in real life, that would be impossible. And stuff, and because of that, it would be impossible for him to even um, get oxygen for bu from bubbles and stuff, which means he's not human. Another reason is because Mario freezes to death in the Snow Kingdom, but he does not take any damage, even though he looks that cold and snow all over him and he's turning freaking white. And yet he has no problems, which I find really weird. Another fact that he's in, for the another reason why he is not human at all is because he has stuff like this. Another reason is Mario when he sees a brown plant and gets shot with fire, he does not like exactly take damage. He gets hurt, but he has no burnt skin or burnt clothes at all, even when he falls in lava. Another thing that if Mario were human, he would have something burnt or and stuff, which makes it even more unlikely for him to be human. Another thing is, when Mario breaks bricks, he freaking uses his head most of the time when he's hitting bricks and stuff. But the thing is, his skull though, how is the skull thick enough to even do any damage or even make the brick go up a little bit? If he's a, if he's just a normal human, he would break his skull doing this. And when he ground pounds, he would break his tailbone. And he would need to have like surgery or something when doing these types of things. And another thing is, when Mario goes upside down, in Super Mario Odyssey, in a pyramid of, Mario gets to go upside down. But thing is, you can be upside down for 10 hours and Mario has no problems whatsoever when blood is rushing towards his brain and he could freaking die. And nothing bad happens to him. This even a scene in Super Mario Galaxy 2, but the thing is, Mario, even upside down, with blood rushing to his head all the time, while he's upside down, he is still able to fight enemies like Piranha Plants, as seen in Super Mario Galaxy 2, which is freaking insane, proving that he's not even close to human. He just looks human, but he has no human attributes whatsoever in his age and what he can do. Even when he's in snorkeling gear and stuff, when he's swimming around in Super Mario Odyssey with this gear, he doesn't even get extra time to breathe or anything. This helps now with swimming, which is freaking weird and stuff. I don't know why that is, but if Maya were a human, he would... Uh, he would get something out of the snorkeling gear, but he gets nothing out of it. He just, he's still exactly the same. The snorkeling gear does nothing for him, which is weird, because if he's human, he would have lungs, but he might have um something else. I don't know what that would be, because Mario is a human, so, and there really would be no suitable thing for Mario, so... And stuff. another thing is when Mario rolls. The thing is when Mario rolls, look at that. Look at this dude. He freaking has his feet um, uh, to his head. And he rolls. And you can roll around a whole entire kingdom. Gain speed boost. 
um, when it, you're just freaking rolling normally down hills and stuff, and even when you hit rocks, he still is rolling. And stuff, and he has no damage, and he's so flexible, which in real life would would not work at all. You would get serious damage and stuff. And because with all these facts, I'm with him not being a human at all. Let's put a bunch of X's on it that he is not human whatsoever. Not the citizens of New Donk City are actually humans. But this is just a Nintendo Theory video and stuff. This is this mostly has a bunch of facts from the games and stuff. But I really want to see what Nintendo's reaction would be if I sent them this video. And stuff, and that'll be my theory for today, so bye.